Oh, what the hell was that? Emergency for FTL? No, wait, wait, wait! I want to see that. No, 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 no! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Initiating FTL jump to no, 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 no. Super Earth. Oh my God! You guys haven't seen the first. The first FTL jump intro. So Meridia just popped, and uh, where are we now? So this is a video about you know the crew was forced to initiate more like how I who yeah I know you're like who the hell cares how you feel man okay yeah I know I get it okay but maybe I'll find some of you guys that are on board you know same page of what I feel about this game uh, so first things first I've been grinding this game so hard until level 50 um, Sorry about that emergency war. When it released, um, you know, the days where you couldn't get into the server and all that. It was such a blast, because I was, I was doing like Hell Live um, difficulty, and obviously we had the whole railgun shtick and the breaker, it was amazing. And then they nerfed it, and then things were a little, you know wacky but not too bad so they decided to bring like a balance patch and then more shit fell apart and as time went on they tried to rebalance stuff again stuff broke glitches more bugs happened um they tried to introduce new guns to balance some other stuff new you know uh war bonds and it's just it never ever satisfied me enough to keep going okay we we went in with seasness rhino you know cypher silox etc we played a couple times here and then but um even then it was kind of you know an, Hell life difficulty. It was a little, it was a little bit of a mess because we kept getting glitched out. Um, this annoying bug where one of the enemies pushes you away and you it, you get a dive into like in, into water animation, and during that time the charger or or another enemy type would like attack you again because the animation took so long and you couldn't move. Uh, you, your character getting ragdolled and all that. See, when this happened, when the uh, game just released, that was funny. Right? Not the uh, water glitch, that actually didn't happen. But like the ragdoll thing, right? It wasn't as annoying as after the patches, you know? And the game, frankly, just became, for me at least, unplayable. You know, the enemy is uh, attempting to seize I went down we must join the defense. to challenging. Imagine, I've been I've been high up in hell dive. Oh, what is this gravitational anomaly? Yo, by the way, this is sick. I like uh, small events like this. You know, that's cool. Oh my god, that was amazing. Anyway, let's 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 focus. Let's focus on what I want. Try to say. So anyway. It was cool because I was able to do solo, right? See, that's probably one of my biggest complaints is solo missions have been very confusing. I'm not going to say hard and all that because everyone is going to say, yo, a skill issue. Confusing because you had like really good runs and then one fucking bug or glitch like i don't know an uh, enemy pushes you through a building and you get stuck into the building uh, while you were like so careful to not lose your last uh you know reinforcement and you were actually going good you were like stealthing whatever you did to get through you got to the extra extraction side and then these stupid bugs happen right and it's just infuriating, you know? Uh, 
at some point you're just gonna it's just it's just a time waste especially if you work all day and you come now you want to do have some progress right and uh, all you get is fucking failures after failures right and this is this is probably why i kind of backed off a little bit with this game look listen i haven't been this invested in a game since I don't even know what the last game was because like when I play a game offline and don't try to stream it that's when you know I'm in I'm in the zone okay um but yeah this like after level 50 and all the patches and all that um it just went downhill for me you know I don't know, I just, maybe I just expected... Maybe a lot of people are not aware, but I think it's a 50-50 situation where, like, a lot of people are aware of how buggy and glitchy it is, and especially after the whole PSN, PS thing, right, people started to lose faith, uh, move away from this game, because uh, you were forced to link your PS account and all that, right? Yeah, and I get that. It didn't bother me that much because I had a PS account anyway, so... Uh, I mean, I found it shitty, don't get me wrong. It's not like I'm supporting that decision from Sony, but... Uh, it didn't bother me as much. Uh, but I think after that, we started losing a lot of players, and... It went from seeing like 500,000 players every day just a hundred thousand or something don't get me wrong there's still a lot of people playing it but it's just you know with all the bugs and glitches happening uh at some point at some point it gets you know you just you just have enough right there's only so much you can, or so many bugs glitches you can handle oh my god right before you start to really think about uh, if you should waste your time with this game because right? back in the day you were doing progress and every time you played it doesn't mean like, don't get me wrong oh my god it doesn't mean you have to win every time right there's gonna be missions where you lose but at least back in the day it felt like when I did a mistake, it was my mistake, right? And I felt the, uh, the I, I, I could analyze what my mi mistake was, right? What did I do wrong? But after those patches and, you know, more bug glitches happening, it just, like, after, especially like after nerfs, all the gun nerfs, stuff they did, Every time it felt like, like I don't know, I was doing everything nice, and then suddenly a charger bounced me through this rock, and I was like stuck inside, like shit like that. <clears throat> or I was like running, and then a hunter hits me, right? And then instead of like after two hits, being able to run away, somehow he like, he's like glued to my uh, character model and just keeps hitting me, right? And I couldn't, I couldn't like run away for a second to like. Uh, reload or something stuff like that or like uh, a little bug hits me I start to ragdoll and the charger fucking kills me right stuff like that it's just at th that point I just started to not being able to figure out what my uh oh sorry I forgot that my, my what the mistake was that you know Back then, I was like, oh shit, I did this wrong. Oh, I was, I charged right into the horde. And that was my bad. Or like, I tried to like 1v1 against an entire, whatever it is, right? But now, it's always like, man, fuck, fuck this shit. I got like glitched into a, I don't know, corner. And lost like, every time I, I reinforced myself. I launched into like, I don't know, a, a swarm 
of bugs that like insta killed me at like two hits maybe a stalker came in or whatever a charger hit me and the stalker and boom, boom i was dead uh stuff like that never happened when the game first released you know and over time just see i, I feel like that's why people more people started to leave or like play it re not as often that's what i'm gonna say I wouldn't necessarily say leave, but like don't play as often anymore is because, um, right? It just doesn't feel like there's progression in your mind. I'm not saying in the game, like in your mind, it's like I, I keep losing because of like stupid shit uh, that shouldn't have happened. And why am I coming back to this game every time if it's so buggy? Yeah, I'm playing on lower difficulties. I'm sorry, but like maybe for some guy, for some of you guys, it's a status. Ooh. Uh, maybe some of you, for some of you guys, that's, in, you know, satisfying. But like, for a lot of us, you just want to go up and up in difficulty, right? You want to challenge yourself, Make try new date. challenges, uh, see how far you can push yourself. And if that's not gonna, you know, gonna be possible, you just feel like you're wasting your time. That's all I have to say. So that's why I also didn't like like to upload a lot of videos or stream uh, Hell I mean, obviously, we also had the whole trying to play. Oh, see that? See that? That thing happens so often. The, the stupid water glitch. Oh my god. And it's just infuriating, right? Because when that uh, animation happens, right? In some situations where you need, like, a second response, that animation takes away that second. Where you, yeah, where you would have uh, a chance to fight or do something else. Move, dodge, whatever, dive. That stupid animation, or whenever you get stuck somewhere, snatches, snags that away from you, you know? Um, and you feel robbed, that's all I'm gonna say. You know, you feel robbed. That's not the only bug, obviously, there are like some guns that, um, you know, um, didn't work well, like an explosion. Pushing you away, Found something. Uh, even though you hit like a target very far away, it somehow the shrapnel still hit you and stuff like that. And then when they nerfed it, now it nerfed, uh, you know, destroying bug holes to uh, uh, what was the that gun called? That sniper they introduced, the new sniper. I forgot the name. A primary weapon. What the fuck, dude? I forgot I have my arc blitzer. Arc. Oh. I, f I even forgot arc thrower. That's what it is. Oh yeah, when they started to play around with the arc thrower too, like, come on, man. There's like some stupid, really stupid nerfs they did. Um, like the sickle overheats now faster. Why, dude? There's like some stuff that really didn't need any change. Ah, I got stuck at a small rock. Oh my god, that thing happened again. There's, there, was, there was actually more stuff I wanted to say, but right now, there's uh, nothing, sadly nothing pops to mind, so whenever more pops into my mind, I'll probably do a part two. Maybe I should like write it down, what exactly, and in detail, so people understand what I'm rambling about. Because like sometimes, I know it's a little hard to understand me. To understand me. By the way, um, 
Snake Lancer Haven on Twitch. We are streaming there sometimes. On the main channel, not as often, but on the uh, second channel, the Nazan oh, Deha. Just Nazan UL Deha. Uh, I'm streaming a little bit more often because I have no. Oh my fuck. I have no alerts there, so it's like a peaceful stream. And uh, obviously, without Sammy, without using Sammy, I can stream a lot more games, including Helldivers, without problem, on high settings. Uh, which I can't do on the main channel. The main channel is using alerts and uh, all that. Browser source, whatever. OBS sources I did uh, to trigger stuff. Um, you know, is using a lot of resources. Which makes it impossible for me to play. Last time I wanted to continue Crisis 3, I know. And I couldn't. Which I think could be the problem on streaming the main channel. Um, or just using the profile of my main channel. So I'm going to try to stream Crisis 3 on the second channel. And might actually upload the gameplay on uh, on this channel. Okay. So, guys, uh, thank you all so much for watching. A little bit of a out of the ordinary video. But I felt like... I just wanted to do more videos, man. You know, I haven't been uploading at all. Not regularly. I haven't been doing really much on the channel. Uh, all I've been doing is streaming on Twitch. And um, I feel like this is... I feel like this is the only way I can probably continue doing uh, content from now. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I know the some people are like expecting all the, all the heavy edits I used to do back in the day. And... A lot of people are expecting me to go back to Metroid content, freelancer content, etc. Um, I've been sadly leaving those a little to dust, um, and I'm still figuring out what I wanted to what I wanted to do with the uh, new channel. If I'm gonna what the if I'm gonna move all the uh, extra uh, videos, like content. Uh, Hell Divers, Eve Online, whatever, right? If I wanted to move that to my secondary channel and leave this channel mainly for Metroid, F Zero, and Freelancer and some Metal Gear, you know, Metal Gear content. Uh, I'm still trying to figure that out, okay? But um, guys, yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, as always, you know, I hate to say that. You know, I, if you like it, you would already subscribe. That's what I think. Like, even, wh even when I'm watching someone, I'm like, oh, shit, this guy makes awesome content. I go subscribe. I don't have to tell you fuckers to subscribe to my channel, okay? <laughs> All right. Take care. Bye-bye.